my name's Nicole. I have been a nurse for going on 12 years and I've been traveling for almost three and I've been traveling with Atlas my whole time. I'm a med surge nurse. I started with Atlas back in September of 2019 and still with them today. Uh, well, the recruiter I have now, now is not the recruiter I started with, um, although their both names are Justin. I call them Justin 1 and Justin 2. Uh, but I happen to have a, a friend that was a travel nurse uh, that was no longer traveling. She recommended Justin and Atlas. She said, you know, they were like one of the last companies she used. She said if I had found them first, I probably just would have stayed with them the whole time. And so um, I... I got to talk to Justin one and uh, we just kind of hit it off and he made things happen for me, you know, as far as getting my first contract and really helping me understand things and how things work um, because it was all brand new to me and I just, I just stayed, I just stuck around. Pros are um, we get to see places and do things that we might not otherwise get an opportunity to do. Um, you know, it's more like a work vacation. So when you get to a place, you get to really like learn about it versus just doing the highlights. Um, we got to experience that in Nashville when we were in Nashville. We really got to experience Nashville versus just what you would get in like a weekend trip or even a week trip for that. So um, another pro is, is that I get to see what my job looks like in other places, which to me is really interesting. The foundation of what we do is very much the same no matter where you go, but the process of that looks different in different places. I feel like it makes us stronger nurses moving forward onto other places because we have so much to pull from. And then honestly, one of the biggest pros for me is I don't have to worry about hospital politics. <laughs> um, there is a level of instability to it. Um, even in the best times of travel nursing, there's still instability in that, you know, your contract can be canceled, things can change. The reset, um, that first week or two of the reset and that, you know, learning a new system, learning a new where to park, learning where the cafeteria is, learning who to call when you have problems, um, just that reset is what I call it. It usually takes the first two weeks to, and then then I'm good. For the most part, the pros will outweigh the cons. <laughs> I really like working with them. It's like talking to, you know, a friend. Um, a lot of times, you know, his thought process is the same as my thought process. Uh, he's also pretty good about explaining things to me when I think of, when I think something and he's like, nah, that's, that's really not how that works. Let me, you know, um, and does it in a way that I don't feel like I'm you know, being silly for thinking that way, but it's pretty good at explaining things. I trust him. Everything that he always says is, it is what it is. There's never been, you know, it's just kind of straight to the point and it works well. For me, the biggest lesson as a travel nurse is learning that just because somebody does something different doesn't mean they do it wrong. You know, so many times we tend to get set in our ways of how we do things and then we go to places and they're like well that's not how we do it we do it this way and your tendency is to go well that's not right well is it really not right or is it just different <laughs> so that that's a hard one to overcome professionally do your research i researched and talked to people for probably a good six months before i ever even talked to a recruiter um, and I mean, do your research on everything, not just recruiters, not just companies. Do your research on the tax laws. I know so many new travelers have questions on that. Do your research on, you know, what kind of housing are you going to be, look, be looking for? Not just, oh, this company pay is paying this much because there's so much more to it than what the company's paying, the less surprises there are and the more likely you are to be able to adapt a little bit better and go with the flow. Because there is a certain amount of, you just gotta kind of go with the flow. <laughs> when we decided to travel, my husband and I, and I do have a stepson, he's 16 and he goes places, you know, he's not with us all the time, but when we decided to travel, we sat down at a family dinner and everybody got to list five places. Uh, that was their their bucket list of places that we would want to go um, and some of them had some crossover we have a list of places but 
we're just kind of letting travel nursing take us wherever it wants to sometimes because I think with that you end up in places you wouldn't necessarily want to or plan to but they end up being really good which is what happened to us in Virginia we never had any implants in intentions of going to Lynchburg Virginia um, but got out there and absolutely loved it they've always taken care of me everything is always what they say it's going to be whether it's Justin or compliance or you know everything if they tell me that you know, the sky is blue, the sky is blue. You know, I've never had any major hiccups with anything. Anytime there is a slight bump in the road and they do happen, it's always taken care of super quickly. Yes, sometimes I can make more money at other companies, but it's not worth it to me. I like staying where I know I'm taken care of. When I had COVID last year and I had to go to the hospital and you know, my mom, <laughs> called Justin and was like, you know, she's in the hospital, you know, what do we need to do? Is there anything we need to do? Blah, blah, blah. And I didn't have to worry about anything. Justin just said, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it, get better. So I did.